So you want free AI generated motion? Here you go. I didn't animate this. This is this this is it working. Not me. So I've got our character in Blender. Now this works with any character. However, because I don't like character creation, I use character creator to create my characters. I can quickly pump out characters uh, just by changing some of the sliders, so on and so forth. So there is a link in the description for this in description. What we need to do is get this character or this character into the NVIDIA Omniverse USD file format. Because trust me, it saves a lot of headaches. So once you've downloaded NVIDIA Omniverse, there'll be a link in the description for this. This is all for free. We can go into Exchange and we can pick our um, Blender 4.0. We're going to need that one. And also Machinima. We're going to need that to create our AI generated 3D motion. NVIDIA Omniverse has a whole bunch of apps. It has a whole bunch of connectors. There's a few content packs down here and there's a few extensions as well. Now I've got quite a few videos covering NVIDIA Omniverse, so go check them out. But for now, let's go into the library and we need to open up the Blender 4.0 alpha version that NVIDIA have put together. So let's launch that. Now I've now opened up my blend file with the character and we need to use the NVIDIA Omniverse extension because we want to export this to USD file format. Now this will obviously work with any characters. I'm just using Character Creator 4. So, uh, export USD. We're going to find where we're going to save it. We're going to go into general. Um, I just want to export what's selected. And let me just expand all this. Nothing really needs to be changed. I'm not exporting any of the materials. Animations I don't care about. So I've made sure I've got that unticked. And uh, let's go OK to export that. Yes, please. Back into NVIDIA Omniverse. We're going to open up the Machinima. And then we're going to click launch. Now, this took a while to figure out. I even burnt dinner a little bit. So just give me a like and subscribe, even a comment, just to help me out. But dinner did end up tasting okay, so it's all right. From here, we've got our exported character. I'm going to bring him in, and we might need to reposition the chat. Um, if we cancel all the rotations, and then we go negative 90, it brings him up to where he needs to be. From here, we go up into audio to gesture. We're going to go audio to gesture offline pipeline because we want to use audio that we've captured. There's the chap that we're going to be taking all the animation from. Um, we want to we want to bring in our own audio, so I'm going to click the folder, go to the location of all the audio. Now, the audio needs to be a WAV file. It can't be an MP3 file, okay? So let's go select. It's going to select that folder. And in the dropdown, it's going to bring up all the WAV files in that folder. I've only got one, so there's only one. The first time you open this up, there will be a TensorFlow that needs to run, so that might take a few minutes but there's a nice warning message for you. I am just going to hit run and let it go. So you want free AI generated motion? Here you go. I didn't animate this. This is this this is it working. Not me. Subscribe. Yeah, I'm really pushing for you guys to subscribe. <laughs> Again, stop. Yes. Now from here, target skeleton. I am just going to select that and go to our character creator character character armature. Let's go auto retarget. And then I'm going to run A to G. So you want free AI generated motion? Here you go. I didn't animate this. This is this this is it working. Not me. Subscribe. So you can see that it's pretty good. Now the shoulders are really far back, but that's just how the character has been set up. And I mean that's just a micro change which will change a little bit later back in Blender. We can see the differences in fingers as well, where these ones are very straight, where these are curved. So let's fix that up. Over on the right hand side where it says target skeleton, there's a little box here. We're going to click on that. And now we've got the animation retarget window. We've got the right skeleton, which is our, this character, this guy. He is facing the right way, which is awesome. Don't have to do that. So if we scroll down a little bit, we can see here are the tags. Now it'd be really good if in future iterations we can actually change some more of the settings but for now we've only got the upper arm so even though it says shoulder you still go off the upper arms and then we've got head blah 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 but here we can see our fingers aren't set up now we're going to do the laborious task of adding tags so if i go add tag body we're going to go down into left thumb blah blah, blah left index left middle just give me a sec while i do all this and now we've added in all those tags. So now we can go ahead and assign our bones to the other mesh. So if we go left thumb, if I just type in thumb, we're going to select our thumb three. So we're selecting the fingertips. 
okay the tips like so and then if we do an index um left three all right let me do all this now that that has been reassigned let's go animation data is ready and we can play again we can't exactly just click on animation data is ready let's go animation options and then we're going to go top five just change it up yep cool now we can see our fingers have changed and so this is now pretty much the final motion that we have so now the core features have been set up technically we can export however let's just get rid of that property window now we can increase the ai-ness i guess so advanced settings we've got epochs it's kind of like how many iterations it's going to run the samples is kind of is going to improve our quality smoothing how much is it going to smooth in between each iteration and audio sync strength i'm going to bump that up i've got power so i'm just going to bump it up to 22 ish and now depending on what graphics card you're going to have this might take a little bit longer but i'm going to press run and so you can really see how much cleaner the animation is and i mean it was only an extra 15 20 seconds big whoop from here export fps i'm going to bring it down to 30 because i don't need 60. i am now going to press record and now that's recorded our animation and it's saved it here called take and now the way i've been doing this export to get it back into blender not sure if it's the right way but this is the way it works for me is i'm going to go into the stage we can get rid of this window now i'm going to go into the stage export character i'm going to throw him into the sequence uh, sequencer and then take and we're going to bring that into there and now here that animation is in there from here select the character file export and we're going to export it as an fbx file and we're just going to export this as a character now it's going to export everything but that's fine we'll just deal with it uh character let's go save i don't want the cameras i don't want the lights i don't want the textures and whatever so let's just go export now we've got an fbx file now back in blender any version you want i'm going to go file import fbx character now this is going to import a whole bunch of yuckiness all right everything that just got imported delete because we don't actually need it let's come up into the animation tab and from here i'm going to change it to graph i don't really need to right now but it's just something i always do selecting our armature let's go from dope sheet to action editor if we scroll down you can see that we have a whole bunch of actions now the only action that i care about is the bone root one and we can see that it's expanded a little bit that's fine i'm going to rotate x 90 degrees scale 0.01 and that's brought him back down to size if we go ahead and hide all the animation find our bone root animation let's just select all that and delete now if i go rotate x 90 degrees scale 0.01 it shouldn't make me a liar there we go and so now we've got our animation in blender where we can go ahead and start fixing up these shoulders and we're done